Hi James. How are you today? Hi Sandy. Actually, not too well. I think I may be getting a divorce. Could you help me understand how it works in New York? I'm sorry to hear that, James. You really should talk to a lawyer about your exact situation because I cannot give you legal advice. What would you like to know? Well, do I have to give the court reasons for why we want to get divorced? Yes. There are several legal reasons for getting a divorce in New York. The one most people use is called irretrievable breakdown. Irretrievable breakdown? What is that? Well, the law says it is when your marriage has broken down for the past six months or longer. The law doesn't define it, but irretrievable means something you cannot get back. Someday they might use plainer language and words that are easier to spell. Well my marriage definitely broke down, and there is no fixing it. Speaking of which, when can I get married again? Well, the divorce is complete when you have a divorce judgment, signed by a judge. So, if you keep that online dating profile up, you might not want to give anyone a ring, yet. I'll keep that in mind. But just in case, how long does it usually take to get a divorce judgment signed by a judge? Well, that can depend on many things, such as how busy the courts are, and if you filed your paperwork correctly. But if all goes well, it still might take six months or more. Okay. Do I have to say that my spouse did something bad or wrong? No. You don't have to show the divorce is someone's fault. People call this kind of divorce, based on irretrievable breakdown, a no-fault divorce. With this type of divorce you do not have to give the exact reasons why the marriage didn't work, but you do have to swear that the marriage has really broken down. I think we agree that we just want to get this divorce done in the quickest and simplest way we can. I understand, James. I will just tell you more about no-fault divorce. It is usually the simplest. Thanks Sandy. The court cannot give you a no-fault divorce until after property, custody, visitation, spousal support, and child support have been settled or decided. Do you have children with your spouse? Yes. We have two terrific children. Both were born to you and your spouse during the marriage, right? Yep. You should get custody and support orders for your children before you start the divorce. But my spouse and I have already agreed about where the children will live and what expenses I will pay. Great. But getting a court order shows the court that support and custody are resolved. If you want to do that with an agreement instead of an order, a lawyer should write it. Which reminds me, using mediation is always an option for coming up with an agreement as well. Oh. And what is mediation? This is when you hire a person, who does not take sides, called a mediator, to resolve the issues in the divorce. This isn't free, but some local community mediation centers offer low-cost mediation. You can also call your local legal aid office, bar association, or the organization of therapists to get a suggestion for a mediator. And you can always look online. I see. If I don't use a mediator. How do I get a court order about custody and child support? The easiest way is to go through family court. There is a family court in every county in New York. Okay. Do I need a lawyer to do that? It's always a good idea to talk to a lawyer. But the family court is used to helping people who don't have lawyers. You can get the forms from the family court clerk. Okay. Do I need a lawyer to get the actual divorce? Or can I do it myself? It is always a good idea to talk to a lawyer. But since your spouse is not contesting your divorce, and the law does not require you to have a lawyer for divorce, you can represent yourself. You could also contact your local legal aid office to see if they can take your case for free, or if they have a divorce clinic. That is a good idea. If I decide to do it myself where do I get the papers? You can get these papers from the Supreme Court clerk. They are known as uncontested divorce packets. And they're free. Okay. So, is that how I start my divorce? I just pick up that packet from the court clerk? Yes. The packet will include a list of all the papers you need, instructions for completing each form, and the order you need to do things in. Also, it says how long you have to complete each step, and how you place your case on the calendar of the court. Okay. 
How much will the divorce cost if I do it myself? For most people, it costs at least $335 in filing fees to get an uncontested divorce. When you start your case, you must pay a fee of $210. Also, when you file, the court will give you an index number for your case. An index number is a way for the court to identify your case. Later on, when your case goes to the judge for a final decision, either you or your spouse will have to pay another $125. It is also a good idea to get a certified copy of the divorce judgment at the end of your case, which costs $8. Wow! That's a lot of money. I know. But if you are very low income you can file for a fee waiver request or a request for a poor person's order. If this gets approved, you will not have to pay the fees. Good to know. Is there anything else I need to be aware of? Yes, there is. In order to get a divorce in New York State you have to show a connection to the state. This is known as residency. Huh, what does it mean to show residency? Well, it is kind of complicated and you really should read more about it on lawhelpny.org or lawny.org. I also have a handout that you could look at. Please. Just give me an idea. Sure James. Have you lived here in New York State continuously for the last two years? Yep. I have. Then you should be able to file in New York. Thanks, Sandy. Wait a sec James, there are a few more things you should know. Do either you or your spouse want spousal support? What's that? It is when one spouse pays the other an amount of money per month for a certain amount of time. Huh, I don't think so. But why do people get that? Well, it depends. But spouses may ask for it if they are disabled, if they gave up a career for the marriage, or the other spouse makes more money than they do. Ah, I see. I don't think my spouse and I will be dealing with that. But if we did. Could we go to family court and get it settled before the divorce? Yes. You could. You are a quick learner James. The other thing you have to worry about is the division of marital property. We don't have any marital property so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, if you say so. But marital property is very complex and includes lots of things. Like pensions, which people often forget about. So, you really should go to lawhelp.org or Law New York to read more about it and be sure you really don't have any property. Alright, I will. Thanks so much Sandy. You have been so helpful and are such a great friend for helping me with all of this. Of course, James. You know you can always come talk to me if you have more questions. Oh, I will. Goodbye, Sandy.